Hi, I'm Helen from the Writing Development Centre. You've probably heard that university level study is a step up from school or college level learning. And it's true, university study is harder. But just saying that doesn't really help you get a sense of exactly what that means in practice. So I'd like to think a little bit about that with you to see if I can give you some sense of what that might mean. You might be thinking that at university you'll be studying more. You're studying one or two subjects and that's going to give you more time to learn more about your subject, whether it's one that you're continuing with or whether it's one that's completely new to you. You might also be wondering if you're going to go into the subject in more detail. But what does that mean? More knowledge, more information, more facts? And all of that's true. You will be learning more about your subject at university. But the main difference between university study and school or college is not quantitative, the amount that you're learning, but qualitative, the difference in its character or nature. So firstly, you won't just be learning more about your subject, you'll also be learning how knowledge is made in your subject. If you've ever wondered how all these researchers and academics and scientists and other experts know what they know, well, you'll be finding out more about the theories, the methods and the approaches that they use to create this knowledge. You'll also be learning how to critique those experts and ask, how well is that knowledge made? How much confidence can we have in it? How can there be different perspectives or viewpoints on the same thing? And how do we learn to deal with this uncertainty? University learning isn't just about finding an answer in a book, it's also about making an answer. So you'll be learning to construct knowledge yourself. You'll be learning how to make connections between ideas and build on them and extend them into your own answer, justifying your conclusions and the ways that you've gone about it. And that's why referencing is so important at university. It helps us to see the ingredients that you've used to make your answer, how you've combined them and worked with them to create something new. And as you learn more about how knowledge is constructed in your subject, you'll also start to realise that there's very rarely one single right answer to a problem, or at least not one single right way of reaching an answer. We're often not looking for a single specific answer. We're just as interested in how you reach the conclusions that you did. Your thinking also becomes more independent as you encounter uncertainty, disagreement, nuance and complexity. You learn to deal with that, weigh up the different options and come to your own decisions. So when we talk about university learning being more in depth, we often mean that process of exploring more deeply all of the evidence, critiquing it, exploring the different perspectives and reconciling them or deciding which side you agree with, exploring different ways of answering the question and justifying those decisions. So as you come to your own understanding of the topic. So the curriculum is a lot more open at university than it would be at school or college. There's a lot more scope for you to explore it in the ways that you want to and take it in directions that you're interested in. There's often not one single book that you have to read. What you need might be found in several different texts and you'll need to piece it together or compare different versions to see which version makes more sense to you. Reading lists are a starting point, but you'll need to explore the different opportunities there and compare and contrast which versions help you most. Lectures as well are a starting point for your further studies rather than a summary of everything you need to know and where you take it next in group work or assessment is up to you. So by the end of your degree, you'll not only have learned an awful lot more about your subject, you'll also have learned to think like a confident, independent expert in your own right.